<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, it's Jimmy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If we turn our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 59, we're we'll looking at verses 20 and 21. And it reads, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Pray the Lord out of blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> brother, this is Jimmy. <laughs> praise the Lord. My sisters, if we look at Isaiah chapter 59, verse 12, we see that Isaiah, an Old Testament gospel grace preacher, writes in the 12th verse of Isaiah chapter 59, for our transgressions, transgressions, outward sins, are multiplied before D, before the Lord. Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people. And our sins, and sins is no more than the totality of outward sins, transgressions, and inward sins, iniquities, testify against us. For our transgressions, outward sins, are with us. And as for our iniquities, inward sins, we know them. Verse 13, in transgressing and lying against the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God, who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people. And lying against the Lord and departing away from our God speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the hearts words of falsehoods. And that's nothing more than a false gospel message that got, that got no grace. Speaking oppressions and revolts and conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, a false gospel message that got no grace. Verse 14, and judgment, uh, a, a, a solution, an answer to this problem, is turned away backward. And justice, a solution, an answer to this problem, standeth afar off. For the truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Verse 15, yea, true faileth, and watch this, and he that departeth from evil, this is a, a gospel grace believer, because he's departing from evil, evil is a false gospel message that got no grace, he departs from it, maketh himself a prey, because you don't want to have nothing to do with a false gospel message that got no grace, and because he sees the hypocrisies, the lies that's going on, and he don't want to have nothing to do with it, and he's making himself a target. And the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people, saw this. He sees the 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 the, the, the gospel grace believer don't have have nothing to do with the evil, departing from the evil. Now he's made a prey, and the Lord saw this. And it displeased him that there was no 
judgment, that there was no answer, that there was no solution to this problem. And then watch this. Verse 16. And he, this is the capital H-E, and this is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. There was nobody praying. There was nobody going before the Lord while this was all going on. Therefore, his arm, in Isaiah chapter, <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> praise the Lord. In Isaiah chapter, referring to the arm, in Isaiah chapter 51, verse 9, it says how the, 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 the awake, awake arm of the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant, keeping God who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people. In Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1, it says, who's going to believe the report of the gospel of grace? And to whom is the arm of the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God, who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves people. Who, to whom the arm of the Lord, who's he going, who's going to be revealed? And then in Isaiah chapter 62, verse 8, Isaiah on Old Testament gospel grace preacher, he writes that, 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 that the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital E, Jehovah God, a covenant keeping God who keeps his covenant with him because he loves it. The Lord will swear on his right arm. And his right arm is the strength of his arm. And so the arm of the Lord, the strength of his arm is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him. Unto, unto the, the, the verse 15, he that departed from evil and make him, and, and, and he departed from me and I have nothing to do because he's a believer uh, of the gospel of grace and, and, and the Lord, therefore the arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness, it sustained him. The, 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 the righteousness of God sustains the, the, the he that departed from evil and is now made a prey. And then watch this, verse 17 of, of Isaiah chapter 59. For he, the capital H-E, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And so we see the apostle Paul use this figurative language, this imagery in his letter of Ephesians in chapter six. And 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 and, 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 so, and watch this. And he put on the garments for clothing. He put you know, he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. And, and 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 we see in Romans chapter twelve verse nineteen, the apostle Paul writes, "Beloved of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, avenge not yourself, for for it is written, vengeance is mine, doth saith the Lord." And he's quoting Isaiah chapter uh, 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 63, verse 4, where it talks about the day of vengeance is mine, but the year of redeeming is mine. And so we see when it comes to vengeance for, the, for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it's going to just take a day. But when it comes to redeeming a believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it's going to take a longer period of time. And, and, and so we see, and as clad with the zeal as a cloak. And what's this, this, this clad with the zeal of cloak that he's talking about? Well, we see in John chapter 2, when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, early in his uh, earthly ministry, when he, he, he went down to, to, to the temple and he, and he saw that it, 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 uh, there was some shenanigans going on, so he, he, he fashioned a, 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 a whip and and he, he freed the the, the 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 doves and the the, the ox and 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 the sheep and, and he turned over the table and and, and, and cleared out the money and and, and the, 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 the the disciples who were following him and said yo 
You know what? This reminds me of Psalms chapter 69, verse 9, where it says the, the, um, the, zeal is, 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 the, the zeal of the house of God is caught up, is consumed them. And, 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 and then Jesus said to those guys who were doing the, the, those, those shenanigans in the temple, he said, um, you know, take these things away. And, and he says, this is, you, you, you've made my Abba Father's house N nothing more than a, a merchandise. And, and then the, the, they, they argue back at him, saying that, who, what gives you the authority to do that? Show us a sign. Show us a, a miracle. Show us a wonder. Come on. And then our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, that, 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 that zeal that was consumed in him, that, 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 that he's putting on as a cloak. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, said, you, you see, this temple, you, 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 you'll, you'll destroy but in three days, I will raise it up. And they, they said, well, what are you talking about? The, 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 you know, temple, the three days. It took us 46 years to build this thing, and you're talking about three days. But they didn't know that Jesus was talking about him. And so that, that's, that's, that, that's, that's the, 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 the garment of vengeance is Jesus is pulling off. Because vengeance is, is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and, and he will repay. And, and and that cloak, the the, the, the cloak, the, the reproach of, of reproach of mankind, he gonna put that on. And that's talking about the finished work, what he's gonna do on the cross. Because then we jump down to verse 18 of, of, of Isaiah chapter 59. And according to their deeds, the, this is this is sins, transgressions, failures, mistakes, according he will repay. So he'll take sins, iniquity, transgression, the curse, condemnation, uh, 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 and everything that's uh, totally diametric opposite of man. He's going to take that and then he's going to repay mankind by giving them the righteousness, the gift of righteousness. And it's going to be fury to his adversaries. It's going to be a recompense to his enemies and to the islands the believers of our Lord and Savior Jesus, he will repay recompense, uh, his, his forgiveness, his love, his mercy, his grace. And then watch this, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of our Lord and Savior and sooner come to King Jesus Christ from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. And that's at the east. Because we see in Ezekiel chapter 43, verse 2, it talks about, behold, the glory of God. And it came from the way of the east. And it will have voices of many water. And that voices of many water is nothing more than the voice of the gospel of grace. No, watch this. And when the enemy, the kingdom of darkness, shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, a covenant keeping God, who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people, shall lift up a standard against the kingdom of darkness. We see in Romans chapter 5, verse 20, the apostle Paul put it to it, where, where sin abound, God's grace much more abound. So when the kingdom of darkness has this flood, the grace of God, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of Jehovah God, it's going to super uh, much more tsunami abound. In verse 20, and the Redeemer, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, shall come to Zion. Zion is the mountain of God's grace. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, and that's just a believer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, saith the Lord, and as for me, the capital M-E, that's our, our Abba Father, this is my covenant with them, the believer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, those who trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, saith the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God, who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people, my spirit that is upon a believer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and my words which I have put in thy mouth. So he's putting words in a believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's mouth. Shall not depart from their mouth. 
not out of the mouth of their children, nor out of the mouth of their children's children, saith the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God, who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves us, from henceforth and forevermore. And what's this words which our Abba Father is going to put in the mouths of believers of our Lord and Savior. It ain't going to depart. It's going to be on the children and the children, children, and the children, children forever, forevermore. Well, let's look at Psalms chapter 40. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We got to find out what's those, the, the mouth that, and what are those words which I have, which our Abba Father has put in the mouth of a believer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Psalms chapter 40. Uh, it's a psalms written by David, the Old Testament gospel great songwriter, who, who uh, according to Second Samuel chapter twenty-three, verse one, he's a sweet um, gospel grace Old Testament songwriter, and he says and writes in Psalm chapter forty, verse three, and he, our Abba Father, hath put a new song into my mouth, even praise unto our God. And so what's that that that, that 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 those words that he's putting in the mouth of a believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, these are the words. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord may shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his God to you. May the Lord give you speed. And I commend you all to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build your affairs to those who sanctify. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, say amen. And after him that is able, keep you from falling and present you faultless in the presence of his God, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless us. God bless us.